Hey, man, are you looking to start a music career with little to no money? It can be done, but you're going to need some strategies. Let's talk about it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. If you don't know yet, this place is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster, but also how to just be a better artist, how to get started in this whole industry of confusion. You know what they say, man, if you confused, you're going to lose. So I'm here to set the record straight and get y'all on the right path, man. So a lot of people ask me and they be in my inbox, yo, Wavy, I ain't got no money. How can I do this? Can you help me do that? Or, you know, you might just be in that situation yourself to where funds are low and you are looking at how can you possibly compete in the music industry where it takes $300,000 to get your song on the radio nationally, huh? How can you compete in the music industry where it might cost you 500 bucks to record a song? How can you compete if you don't have that money? Well, I got a few ideas that I've been working on that I know for a fact will help you to get started. So let's go ahead and jump right into my first tip for how to actually get started with your music career without no money. I know y'all gonna say wavy, that's a little counterproductive. This one don't make sense, but I have to say it. The first thing is get some money. <laughs> now, look, what do I mean by that? Get you some money, man. Get you a job, get you a side hustle. If you're not making money from your music career yet, it's gonna be impossible for you to live and survive and even think about booking recording time, buying beats, doing photo shoots, video shoots, all the stuff that you need to do to position yourself as an artist, it's gonna be impossible if you don't first start generating some income. So I know that being an artist with this music stuff is your passion, but first, let's go ahead and have our job Feed that passion, okay? So go ahead and find you a job. Go ahead and find you a side hustle and use that money, use that income to start filtering into your music career, all right? That's going to be the first thing I'm going to say, man, is to start getting some more money so that you can have something to invest in your music career. Next up, if making money is hard for you, then you probably are going to have a hard time in the music industry too because in the beginning, you're going to have to do a lot. You're going to have to wear a lot of hats. So my next tip is for you to diversify your skill set. Now, what does that mean? That means that you need to be getting on YouTube University, not just learning how to record and mix yourself, but also learning how to use Photoshop, learning how to edit videos, learning how to put a song out. Maybe you need to learn how to make beats if you can't afford to pay the producer. Maybe you need to learn how to build a website, right? Create your own logo. So all this stuff, there's so much information online for free that you could really tap into and get started at least with doing stuff yourself. Now, once people see that you're doing stuff yourself, they see a movement that's already in motion, then they'll be more inclined to help you out along the way versus you just standing by the side saying, help me, help me, help me. Start figuring out what you can do for yourself. And again, YouTube is a great place for it. My channel has a bunch of information on recording and mixing, which I definitely recommend y'all check out. But also think outside of that, right? Do you need flyers? Do you need cover art for your, um, for your single when you put it out? Are you going to need a music video? Maybe you can shoot it and edit yourself. There's a lot of other skills that you could use. And then also by you growing those skill sets, that's how you can also make more money by doing those things for other people. And you can bring that money and put it back into your own music career. Obviously, you can learn how to record and mix yourself, but I know that that's going to be hard for a lot of artists. And I don't always recommend that for artists. Yes, the recording aspect of it, you should have some type of recording set up so that you can quickly get your ideas out. But as far as mixing and stuff, I don't want you as an artist to get caught up with uh, the confusion and technical side. So if you're more in the creative side of things, then you might want to stay into that zone, songwriting, coming up with melodies, things like that, and collaborate, hmm, which brings me to my next topic, collaborate with engineers and producers who are also on your same level. A lot of times we can't find people to collaborate with because we keep reaching up instead of reaching to the side. There are people at the same beginning level as you that will be happy to work with you and happy to build and grow something with you. But when you try to reach out to somebody who's like 10 times past where you are, 
of course, they have no benefit to gain from working with you. You can't really offer them anything. And when you are trying to come into a collaboration situation, think about what it is that you can offer that person that you're collaborating with. If you don't really have anything to offer, then the answer probably is going to be no to a collaboration. So when you think in collaboration, think uh, lateral collaboration, right? To where you are going to be reaching to the sides of you and trying to find people who are on your same level, who have a different set of skills that you can collaborate with. That Not necessarily collaborating with other rappers or collaborating with other singers. They can't really bring to the table what you need, but as a rapper, a singer, a musician, collaborate with an audio engineer, collaborate with a producer. That is how you can actually uh, start to build up, build a name for yourself, and grow with somebody else. Another tip that I'll say is to take advantage of the free beats that's online too. A lot of producers will give you free beats that you can download from right offline. Some of them you can just download on YouTube, and they have a bunch of other websites where there are a bunch of free beats and even beat packs. I know Wishmaster, for example, he'd be dropping beat packs all the time, and you catch one of his deals, like you can get like 20 beats for like 50 bucks or something like that. Now, a lot of those are great deals. If you're getting free beats online, though, you might have to be limited to kind of the mixtape crowd, which is perfectly fine when you're trying to get exposure. So you can use those free beats, upload music to SoundCloud or even YouTube as long as you're not monetizing it. But the whole point is that you're steady in that creation process and it's not costing you anything. As an artist, it's going to be so crucial that you actually get time spent performing okay so how can we do that how can we perform for one there are many free opportunities for you to perform um for one you can put on your own show that might cost you a little bit but maybe you can work out something with the venue to where you don't have to pay up front maybe you can split this ticket sales with them or split the revenue that comes in that night with the venue so that you don't have to come out of pocket up beforehand that could be a great way to make money as an artist but one thing that y'all seem to be uh, afraid of is busking, all right? You know what busking is? Busking is when you get you a speaker and a microphone and you go stand out on that street corner or you standing in the train and you singing and letting people hear your talent and they can give you tips if they like it, right? That's a great model. I don't know why, if you're too prideful for that, maybe this whole performing musician thing ain't for you, but Get outside, let people hear you pop up places and don't just be popping up with your CD. If you got a CD to sell or music to sell, like I, I don't know if people still do this, but cats used to be standing outside the gas station like, yo, you want to buy my mixtape? Like, nah, bro. But if you standing outside that gas station and you got your little speaker there and a microphone and you spitting some bars and then you just happen to have a mixtape there, I might buy it from you then if I'm attracted to the product that I see right? Because it's called um, marketing and sales, right? It goes hand in hand. You need to first market yourself by doing that performance right there. And then you can sell something. You just can't bust into my personal space asking me to sit, buy something. I ain't, I ain't with that. So market yourself by busking, getting out on the streets and performing and also open mics. There's a lot of open mics, a lot of free chances for you to get on stage. Um, so take advantage of those when you see those opportunities happening. Another one that I, I see as a studio owner is artists collaborating on studio time, right? So if you got a two hour minimum, you got to book two hours, whatever, maybe you collaborate with somebody and they get one hour, you get one hour, or you spend time collaborating with other artists and jumping on their songs. That way, whatever uh, studio they're at, you get to record into their song and, and you're getting your music out there. You're getting your voice out there by collaborating and kind of piggybacking off other artists who may have more money or more um, connections than you at that point in time. It's perfectly fine. As long as there's some type of mutual benefit, you bring in some fire sauce to the song. I don't think anybody going to be mad at that. All right. So think about that too, collaborating with artists and, you know, seeing if y'all can go have some studio time. One last tip that I'll give y'all is to one last tip that I'll give y'all is to present yourself as an artist online. This is going to open you up for a lot of opportunities. Again, so kind of like your Instagram, if I go to your Instagram page, I don't want to just see, you know, your dog and see what you ate for lunch. I want to hear your music. I want to see photos of you as an artist. I want to see your music videos. I want there to be a booking link in your bio, right? Somebody that they can contact to book you. You got to start setting yourself up 
for these type of uh, interactions that you want to have. So if they can't find out how to contact you, if your page doesn't look like an artist, even if somebody is interested, when they find you, it might be a letdown and you could be losing opportunities that way. So make sure that you have a website, that you are contactable, that your uh, social media profiles look and work like an artist would. And uh, that'll definitely position you for more opportunities in the future. I'm sure y'all got a whole bunch more ideas Drop down in the comments and let me know. Let's keep adding on to this list. What are some things that artists can do right now to start their rap or singing career, to start their music career with little to no money? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Check out the website and I'll see y'all back for the next video. Be dope.